Thomas and Gordon. Thomas was a town kinjin who lived at the big station. He had six small wheels, a short stumpy funnel, a short stumpy boiler and a short stumpy dome. He was a fussy little engine, always pulling the coaches about. He pulled them to the station ready for the big engines to take them out on long journeys. And when trains came in and people had got out, he would pull the empty coaches away so the big engines could go and rest. One day, Gordon was resting on a siding. He was very tired. The big express he always pulled had been late. He had to run as fast as he could to make up for lost time. He was just going to sleep when Thomas came up in his cheeky way. Wake up, lazy bones, he whistled. Do some hard work for a change. You can catch me, and he ran off laughing. Instead of going to sleep again, Gordon thought how he could pay Thomas out. One morning, Thomas wouldn't wake up. His driver and fireman couldn't make him start. His fire went out and there was not enough steam. It was nearly time for the express. The people were waiting, but the coaches weren't ready. At last, Thomas started. Oh dear, oh dear, he yawned. Come on, said the coaches. Hurry up. Thomas gave them a rude bump and started off. Don't stop dawdling, don't stop dawdling, he grumbled. Where have you been? Where have you been? Asked the coaches crossly. Thomas fussed into the station where Gordon was. Beep, beep, beep. Hurry up, you, said Gordon crossly. Beep, beep, beep. Hurry up yourself, said Cheeky Thomas. Yes, said Gordon. I will. And almost before the coaches had stopped moving, Gordon came out of the siding and was coupled to the train. Boop, boop, he whistled. Get in quickly, please. So the people got in quickly. The signal went down. The clock struck the hour. The guard waved his green flag and Gordon was ready to start. Thomas usually pushed behind the big trains to help them start, but he was always uncoupled first so that when the trains was running nicely, he could stop and go back. This time, he was late. Gordon started so quickly that he forgot to uncouple Thomas. Boop, boop, Gordon said. Beep, beep, beep. Thomas whistled, whistled Thomas. Come on, come on, puffed Gordon into the coaches. Pull harder, pull harder, puffed Thomas to Gordon. The heavy train slowly began to move out of the station. The train went faster and faster too fast for thomas to keep up he wanted to stop but he beep, couldn't beep, beep. stop stop he was you can't get away you can't get away laughed the coaches poor thomas was going faster than he had ever gone before he was out of breath and his wheels hurt him but he but he had to i go. shall never be the same again he thought sadly my wheels will be quite worn out at last they stopped at a station. Everyone laughed to see Thomas puffing and panting behind. They uncoupled him, put him onto a turntable, and then he ran onto a siding out of the way. Well, little Thomas, chuckled Gordon as he passed. Now you know how hard work means, don't you? Poor Thomas couldn't answer. He thought he had no breath. He just puffed slowly away to rest and had a long drink. He went home very slow and very careful afterwards, never to be cheeky to Gordon again.